Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will see how to install Parrot OS in Raspberry Pi. Yes, you heard it right. Now you can install Parrot OS on your Raspberry Pi board. It is an official build from the Parrot OS. You can find it on official Parrot OS website. You can see the minimum requirements for what features you are getting in the Raspberry Pi edition. You can use any Raspberry Pi board, but it is recommended that you need a Raspberry Pi 4 with 4GB RAM variant as mentioned here. From here you can download the Core Edition, Home Edition, and the Security Edition for Raspberry Pi. As you can see I already mentioned that you need minimum 4GB RAM for installing Parrot OS in Raspberry Pi 4. Now we will see what required to install Parrot OS in Raspberry Pi 4. First of all, you need card reader, a minimum 8GB of memory card. I am using 16GB of memory card. You will need a desktop or laptop and you have to download a Raspberry Pi imager or it's just software to flash the Parrot OS in the memory card. I have downloaded both softwares on my laptop. Let me show you. I would prefer Etch's software to flash the Parrot OS in memory card. Let me show you how to use Etch's software and install the OS on it. Now here you need to click on flash from file and it will get a new pop-up window. You need to select ISO image that you have downloaded from the Parrot OS official website. After that, select the target. Here you have to select your memory card as your target. After you're selecting memory card, click on flash. The flashing process will take 20 to 25 minutes to complete the process, so be patient. After that, you need one external monitor to connect Raspberry Pi to monitor. I don't have any external monitor, so I am using my old phone as a monitor using HDMI capture card. I will connect my old phone with Type-C OTG and I will connect HDMI capture card with that OTG connector. And we also need micro HDMI to normal HDMI connector to connect Raspberry Pi 4 to our phone. Now we will insert the micro SD card in Raspberry Pi board. After that, connect your Raspberry Pi board to the power source and micro HDMI cable and connect another normal HDMI connector to the phone. To view the content of the Raspberry Pi, you need an application called USB Camera. You can find it on Play Store for free, download it and open it, and give it the relevant access to use. Your phone has an external monitor. As you can see, Raspberry Pi is booting into Parrot OS. You can see the boot screen. Now here you need to enter the password for the default username. You can find the default username and password our official website download page. Parrot OS 3.0 has hundreds of tools for hacking, forensic analysis, etc. You have a mate desk, although you can use others. The base is nothing less than a Debian 8 with Linux for 0.5 kernel. Now you can also notice all this power in your Raspberry Pi. It will obviously be less fluid than on a PC, especially for certain tasks that require computing power flops, such as decrypting passwords, etc. You can use Wi-Fi hacking tools and external Wi-Fi adapters on this Parrot OS. As you can see, I have connected my external Wi-Fi adapter with Raspberry Pi. This is it for this video, thanks for watching.